Hello and welcome together. This week I got some really nice plants from my friends from Italy, from Anupias Aquatic Plants, Bologna. They sent me some new stuff. They sent me also some old stuff I need for a plant a tank. So I just decided to show you uh, the different plants and how you must handle them when you want to plant them in your tank. Yeah, so let's start with these five kind of different plants. See you! So let's start with the first plant. This is an in vitro plant, a limnobium, and it's a floating plant. And it's very easy to handle them. So you just have to remove them from, from the um, in vitro cup and wash them a little bit in water. And that's all. Sometimes they got uh, some yellow leaves. You can remove them like this. And you see the, the, the side is down. The downside, try to focus, ah, it's not easy. Where is the focus? Here is it, sorry. And you see also the tiger leaves here. Yeah, and the best or the, the, the profit if you're buying um, uh, in vitro plants, a floating plant is you only get what you buy. So there's no lemna or some else, something other floating plants inside. So you're getting a 100% limnobium in vitro and nothing else. And I think that's the most important if you're buying a floating plant in vitro instead of the traditional. Okay, that's all. So the next plant is Schismatoglottis prietoi. I hope I spell it right because it's also the first time I use it. And it's coming from the Philippines and looks a little bit like Anubias and maybe Lagananda. And it's similar from the maintenance, so for low maintenance or low tech tanks, not much CO2, low light, very easy plants. And I think, honestly, it's an upcoming star like Lagananda and Anubias because it's very easy also for beginners. And yeah, I think it's can be a cool plant, you can plant them in the soil or you can plant them also on rocks, something else, whatever. Let me try to open it, sorry, oh, it's not plant. So also for me the first time when I have something like this, I cut the roots here down and open the pot. So as I told you, it's live, it's first time for me I open this plant. So let me check, you see. It's really rich on, uh, on roots, the white roots, so you just have to remove smoothly the, the wool rock and the rest you can wash away. Let me try it. If it's not too boring, I guess. You just need a little bit water. And you can see, then you can remove easily the rock wool. Yeah. And try it. Looks like a really promising plant. Fresh green, dark green, and yeah, it's a great plant for me. The next plant is something for the experts, something for the color lovers. It is Rotala Vietnam Hura. And it's similar to Rotala Colorata. Narrow, get narrow leaves and very vivid uh, red leaves. With the right condition, a lot of plant CO2 and the right balance of nutrition. So if you get some plant like this, so again, I have my problems with my focus here. Here is it. You get these plants in the agar and you just have to wash them in the water a little bit. Very easy. And then you're getting the single stems out of the plant with the leaves here, oh, with the roots down. And so you just need to have... So I'm sorry for the focus, but I only can make this one time. So you just have to separate them in different parts. So one of these in vitro plants contains normally around 50, sometimes 60 single stems. And if you're patient and you have the right condition, you're getting a fantastic stem plants with this narrow red leaves. So just try it. So here we have a really crazy plant. This is just amazing. It's a white Anubias mini pearl. 
I saw them first time three, four years ago at my, at, in Hong Kong at Dave's, Dave Chow's shop in Hong Kong. And I was really uh, crazy about this plant. You see, it's really white. And just give me a short second. Yeah. And you see the quality is really amazing. And uh, you can imagine what you can do with this kind of plant. Sometimes they come also a little bit with the green. But there are also some, sorry for the focus, it's not my, yeah, okay, so you see also the really white pearl Anubias leaves. So this is a really crazy, cool plant. Sorry. Come on, focus. Where is it? So, and yeah, it comes in uh, the small in vitro cups. This is just for, uh, for bigger projects, but uh, the plant coming in a quantity with a normal in vitro cup. So. Anubias mini white pearl, you, it's a must have. So the last plant I want to introduce you is old school and it's I think still one of the most uh, selling foreground plants on the planet. Hemianthus calitogenitis cuba. I have this plant, got this plant first time 2003, 2004. So it's now 16 years ago, 17 years ago. And when I started with this plant, I just want to show, uh, not the experts, but maybe the beginners or the people who want to start with this plants, how I plant this when I have my first experience with this plant. So I remove the plant and cut this part of the rock wool, Oops. and then I divide the plants with the rock wool in different parts or first in the middle thing like this and then I divide them in smaller parts like here here so this with this method I start my first carpets with Hemianthus, Hemianthus calitogites because it's very easy. Where's my pin set? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, this, this video is not so professional. Also my focus, never. With this method, okay, you can handle this plant very easy for the first time planting. So I uh, plant this plant inside the soil or in the gravel every two, three centimeter, like a chest field. And because of the rest of the rock wool here, the plants hold down very easily. And it's not floating if you plant, uh, if, you, if you fill up your tank. Oh, the outer focus is really the hell here. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I can't make this video again. Um, so this is the way you can plant uh, Cooper Hemianthus, very simple, very easy. The first time in your tank, for sure you can also, uh, making the new normal way, you can plant the plant like this here, very in single parts. But if you want to start the first time with Cooper Hemianthus and you want to make a small carpet, maybe you try it with a little bit rock wool on the part. And yes, this will be also very successful. So that's all. This was my last plant. I say thank you very much. And uh, sorry for the unprofessional videos, but <laughs> I was not very well prepared with my mobile phone for this video. Thank you very much. Give me a like and I hope you enjoy it a little bit. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.